Donald Trump has been ordered to pay more than £65.5 million in damages for defaming a columnist. Yeah, she accused him of destroying her reputation after he denied that he raped her nearly three decades ago. In response, uh, Donald Trump said f he fully disagrees with the verdict and he will be appealing and he called it a Biden-directed witch hunt. Uh, let's talk to US political analyst Eric Hamm. Uh, Eric, good to see you. And what are we to make of all of this? I mean, it's, it's not the sort of thing that would ever happen in the UK. Um, the, the ins and outs... Aren't that don't seem that clear in a way. If he's never been charged with rape, but he's been def he's defamed her by calling her a liar, it all seems it all seems very odd. But then these damages, which are astronomical. Yeah, and, and while you say it will never happen in the UK, it's actually happened twice already in the United States to Donald Trump over the same case. Remember, he was already found liable for sexual assault, and he was ordered to pay her five million dollars. And actually, this is a second bite at the apple that E. Jean Carroll for continued defamation by Donald Trump. And going into this trial, the, the defamation had already been declared. The only issue during the entire trial was actually what and how much would Donald Trump actually have to pay her. And what we saw was this astronomical figure uh, that, the that the jury actually came back with. And it's also important to note that the jury actually came up with this decision in very little time. They only deliberated for a few hours before coming up with this enormous amount that Donald Trump is now ordered to pay. Having to pay that sort of money, and we know that it's a very expensive business running for the presidency, could that stop him in his aims? Well, no, because we do know that Donald Trump, even though he has a very high burn rate in terms of the amount of money that he is spending both to a campaign as well as to pay his legal bills, uh, what we have seen from Donald Trump is his ability to raise high amounts of money from his base. But also, too, what we're seeing here is Donald Trump has been using these criminal and civil proceedings as a campaign and political prop. So while I suspect that this could be potentially damaging for Donald Trump in a general election matchup, I'm pretty sure that he will be able to raise enormous amounts of money even after this verdict against him came down yesterday. Is, is it fair to say this is partisan? One of our guests earlier on was saying, well, it's even a partisan jury in all of this. I mean, this is... She's been awarded ten times more than she asked for, which seems extraordinary. Well, if you look at where the trends are going, particularly with these types of cases, we see Donald Trump has now been hit with a $83 million in damages that he has to pay her. If you look at his former lawyer, Rudy Giuliani, he was recently hit with a more than $140 million defamation award that he has to pay to election workers. And so what we're seeing here is the and then also, you, of course, you look at the, the Fox News case and that uh, enormous amount, more than seven hundred million dollars they have to pay and, and that uh, election issue. And so what we're seeing here is uh, these electoral uh, uh, civil cases against individuals and companies. It's a trend. And we're seeing record amounts of money actually being awarded in damages for their ongoing efforts to either defame or uh, ruin someone's character. Yeah, I mean, in, in any other situation, that would be enough to sort of completely discredit a presidential candidate. But when these things happen to Donald Trump, they just seem to make him more famous, more of a, a, a vote-worthy character, more popular, don't they? They do, and I think it's a tale of two elections, the general election versus the primary. And then it's also, I think, a tale of two Trumps. Donald Trump, the criminal defendant, versus Donald Trump, the presidential candidate. And I think what we're seeing here is Donald Trump is, is having enormous advantages as a result of the criminal proceedings. But I think all of this is going to change, and it's, it's going to change abruptly when I think there is this pivot from the primary to the general election. OK, Eric Ham, good to see you. Thank you very much indeed. Thank you. It's going to be such an interesting race. It is a fascinating race, yeah.